Well, I think we should get right into it, and can we like play a song? Let's do yeah. it. So wait, just to get, we're gonna play a few songs at least in this hour. Um, are we gonna hear? Is this gonna be like a new song on like a new EP, or what? What are we gonna play first? Okay, so this first song. What should we play first? Should Reborn. We, I'm already Reborn. Like... All right. So this first song is. It is a newer song. Okay. It's called Reborn, and it is going to be on our upcoming um, EP, um, which should be coming out in fall. So let's talk about that after the song. Yep. Go, but uh, we'll talk about the whole process and that evolved. But um, okay, so what's the song name again? It's called Reborn. Reborn. Okay, let's hear it.
Wow. Does that take some like work to get that out of out of your your hands and out of your mouth? Does, like take a lot out of you? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> I feel like it, I, I mean, it's taking a lot out of me. Um, let's let's get on that one. Um, first, uh, you are listening to KSQD Santa Cruz ninety point seven FM, your favorite um, Santa Cruz radio station. You're listening to Nova Rose with Sarah, Anna, and Rory. Now, that's a new song. That's gonna come on EP at some point in the yes. like fall maybe. Yes. Yeah. So we got a fall or so. Um, how how is this process? You, you have another album, right? Nova Rose has. No. Well, okay. So we don't we we don't have an album out. Um, we do have a single out. Yes. It's called Release Me, and that's um, I, we released that last January. Okay. Um. No pun intended. <laughs> okay. Why did it take me so long to get that? Um, we we didn't get it either. So. No. Radio brains. Right now. Yeah. Radio brains. And so now, what you have, you know, this one. And what was like the process? It's been like a whole year long process of getting this together. Yeah, it's been a um, it's been a long time. Um, we have been in the studio with our friend uh, Jake Ward. Oh, he's the pr he's producing it. Yeah, he's producing okay. it. Um, he's up in Scotts Valley, and um, he um, he also uh, produced um, some everybody's music. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did. Um, he did. I know he did Test Duns. Yep. Um, Tetra. Yep. Sorry, Tetra. Tetra. Yeah. Um, her newest EP. Yeah. Or was it an album or an EP? I think, I think it was an album. I think it yeah. was. Yeah. You use the microphone. Yeah. Sorry, an album. <laughs> and then I think even Ryan Green, he said it was an unreleased album. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then Ryan, Ryan Green is going to release some stuff from him. Um, and he has his own album as well. That, and and yeah. he produces his own stuff. And um, yeah, huge <clears throat> shout out to Jake. He's amazing. Um, his music is amazing. And he's an amazing producer. And he's really, really, really helped us out. And um, it's been a long process, but it's been great with him because he has amazing creative input. Um, so it's an EP. That's like six songs or so. Yes. Um, or so, five or six. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's five. Five or six. Is that super hard? Because I feel like. Knowing you, you write like a song a, a, a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's funny because uh, I know of bands that will go into the studio and just finish an EP in like a week, you know? And like um, the way that we've been going about doing this has definitely been a longer process. Um, a lot of it is because we all have other jobs and other life things going on yeah. and um, the way we've been spacing it out financially and everything has also been a lot um, easier on us. So that's also kind of why it's been taking a lot longer. Um, that's a stupid question, but like yeah. financially, like what to make an album, like, so you have Jake is producing the album, what are, like, the costs involved in making an album? Like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a toy layman here, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it, I mean, it depends, uh, yeah, it definitely depends where, where you go, um, yeah. whether you're getting a deal from someone. I mean, obviously, you're paying there's the, the cost of, right, there's the cost of the studio time, and then there's not only that, but there's the cost of um like the album like the actual physical album yeah like copies and the album artwork whether or not you're paying for that distribution distribution um and all of that and so we haven't even gotten into the process of that yet so um but because we because we know Jake we have you know we were really lucky in that we yeah. have gotten um a pretty good deal through him, but um, so, but no, it's still it's, it's not, it sounds like it's not that you know, easy to like financially so you know, to do that, and especially like I said the actual the physical. I mean, that's like 
everyone costs whatever amount of sense to, to make. Right. Yeah. Do you ever think about like not actually having a physical CD and just like did you no know, send it out to the world electronically? Well, what's cool about having a physical um, CD is playing shows and having um, a product yeah. for people to hold and look at and bring home so that they can remember you by. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I mean, obviously, yeah, everything is online nowadays, but it's still, I think, worth it to have that physical remembrance. It's cool, especially for like if you're really into music, it's really nice to have that tangible, mm -hmm. actual. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like I still buy like there's a certain like a few bands that like I will no matter what when they have a new album out I will buy the physical one just so I have it and he also right. it's to help support them because yeah. exactly. you probably make a little more money on a physical one than a. There set. is also that yeah, yeah. with with um, all the the ways in which people listen to music now like Spotify and. You make um, point zero zero cents. Yeah, you yeah. just don't you just don't make money that way. Um, so yeah, if you really want to support artists, um, especially your local artists, you want you want to buy the physical copies of their work. So, and that's how you guys basically that would financially support yourselves is you no know, selling CDs and shows, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So you have a couple shows coming up, like now, right? Mm -hmm. Friday you have one. What, what's the show going on Friday? Friday we have, um, yeah, so Friday we are playing at um, The Poet and the Patriot with uh, Winter Wind and Astral Caverns, and that show is going to be at 9 p.m. And it's free. Oh, free. free. A free show. And then you have also next week? So, July 6th. Is that next week already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's just mm -hmm, me. <laughs> um, so um, July sixth. Yep. Yeah, where's that? So July sixth, we're playing at the Blue Lagoon. Okay. And that is with uh, Nowhere Land and Joan and the Rivers. Cool. And okay. that's also at nine p.m. Um, that show is five dollars, and it's twenty-one. Just They're five both dollars. I mean, that's like a yeah. super like low entry level to get yeah. in. Yeah. 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 Um, you hear yeah. two or three bands. Um, Anna, could you like move the microphone over to yourself? Okay. I feel like we've ignored you. So, okay. Yeah, I want to make it. Yeah, push it all the way over. Even if it sounds creaky, whatever. Move your your move your chair over to us. Closer, like closer. Yes. Okay. So, how did you get involved in this like this group of? three there's three other ones in the group how, how do you get associated with them um well i'm dating the drummer so that does help yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and their last bassist um he went out of town for college i think long beach okay and um did he have like a short blonde hair mm -hmm. yeah what matt. Was matt matt yeah that was it yeah, yeah he's great yeah um but I found out about that and I was like, I used to play bass in middle school and high school and I kind of stopped when I got into college because the only classes I liked were music classes and so I just did music all the time and then I was like, I came to a different city, I didn't know anyone and I was just like, yeah, whatever. So um, yeah, I just really wanted to hop on board because I thought it would be really fun. And so this is like, like the first band you've actually been in? Yeah. That, that's super cool. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but, um, Sarah, she turned out okay? Yes, Anna is amazing. No, no. We love her. No, seriously. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. No, well, what, what's so cool is that, like, when, when she first approached us, she was like, hey, if you guys just need, like, a fill-in bassist, like, you know, until you get, like, an actual bassist. Yeah. You know, just like, I don't know what that means, but okay. And we were like... <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely, like, that's super sick, and I, obviously, in my head, I was like, well, I mean, like, I kind of just want you to just be our basis, like, I don't know what fill-in basis means. <laughs> we like, need a basis. Just, I, yeah, we need a basis, and you're awesome, and yes, play bass, also, like, having, like, I mean, I don't want to sound corny, but having, like, more female energy yeah. in the band. Which you haven't had. You've I have like, never. the soul... I, yeah, and it, that was like so exciting for me. Like I was like, this is like. Even though she doesn't even know where you work, 
That's true. We just learned today that she has no idea where she. Oh no, you knew about one of her last jobs. I just yeah. well, it's not. It's because I just changed. I, I have had a lot of jobs, and I just don't. I'm not vocal about when I get new jobs. Wait, Anna, are you on social media like Instagram and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I feel like if you're on Instagram, you would have known that she works and where she works. Well, like I, I see her like. You know, you can you can get the idea, but yeah. On the spot. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> she, she's not on Instagram that much, I don't think. Are you? No, not right, really. We know we know who's on Instagram a lot. Oh, I am on Instagram <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I see. God, no, and I always think you know it's almost like uncomfortable, and like I mean, like let's let's talk about this, Sarah. I feel like you can may relate. Okay. So Sarah says like, okay, I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go on Instagram live. And I'm gonna you know play a few songs. Yeah. And so then like oh I see oh Sarah is doing a live and I go yeah. on it and like it might be like really late at night or some like awkward time that not a lot of people are on and it's like okay it's just me and Sarah. <laughs> 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 and I feel like is this awkward? Is it too intimate? I don't know. It just seems like and then other people get on and then it's it's fine. That's yeah. just what happens in social media. Yeah. Yeah. Just be prepared. Well, also like. I, I mean, yeah, I don't, like, at this point, I don't know why I do live videos, because sometimes, like, I don't know, sometimes I do live videos, and it's, like, a lot of people will come on, and then sometimes I do it, and it, it is, it's just, like, one person, and it's just me and that one person, and I'm just, like, all right, dude, it's just me and you, like, we're just hanging out, and it's, and I'm performing for that dude, just that one person, yeah. it's a and personal show, it's it, really intimate, it is. it's but awesome, it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's an, and they stick around throughout the whole thing, and um, are you thinking that like when it like while it's like while you're wa you know, while you're playing you're like oh this person because you see who's on. I have lost like all I I I am embarrassed a hundred percent oh really of life in in my life okay you don't yes. sound like it yeah. um I <laughs> <laughs> so I don't just I just don't. Yeah. It's, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Plus, though, more people see it though than just like that one person, <laughs> or then five, then ten, whatever. But later on is when people like really see it. It's like exactly, and yeah. it gets posted anyway, and so I'm, I know that more people are gonna see it like yeah. afterwards. It's just not that moment all the time, right? And um, so. Okay, well, I, I think you do a good job. It's always interesting to hear Thanks. like you know, and now it's gonna be really awkward. When, when I actually am the only person. <laughs> I know, I'm like, oh gosh, it's, you. It's mad that Santa Cruz is posting. Yeah, I see like someone else uses my feed, I don't know. Um, I think it's time for, um, what song are we gonna hear from now? Uh, no Medicine? Yeah, this is, this is called No Medicine. This is also gonna be on the EP. Okay, sounds good. No Medicine, Nova Rose on KSQD <coughs> Santa Cruz.
I mean, like, you put on a full, like, hour and a half show. No wonder why you guys look so, like, healthy and, like, don't gain any pounds. That's ridiculous. I, I think we need a promo. At KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7 FM with Nova Rose. What was the name of that song? It was called No Medicine. All right. I, I'm not joking. Are you, like, a little, like, winded after you sang that? Um, n n well, no. Because you just um, have, you've, like, strengthened this. <laughs> tool, this muscle. Um, be only because I'm sitting, but like during, after a show, yes. Okay. Uh, there has been, yeah, there have been shows that I've played where I like, I really feel like I'm going to pass out after, yes. Because you put a lot into it, yeah. Yeah, like I'm like, feel like I'm dying, like afterwards. <laughs> yeah, there's always, you know, like you watch, the, I, I can think of, and I won't mention it, but like there's one band that I really like, and I always see like, you know, the... The lead singer's running around, the guitar player's going crazy, the bass player's like, you know, going to think, and there's like this one keyboard player that's going ding, <laughs> ding, ding. It's like, there's no sweat on that guy's brow at all. <laughs> Not that the keyboarders don't, but like, you know, um, I feel like all of you really put a lot of yourselves 
into it. Do you feel like, is there like a regiment you guys have before a show? Rory, what about you? Do you have like, are you get prepared or are you just like, oh, I just do this? Uh, kind of just do it. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't usually practice the day of the show. You want to keep it fresh? Yeah. Yeah. But how about you, Anna? I do nothing but practice the day of a show. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're like practicing like every song. Yeah. yeah. I have to. <laughs> well, because it's a little new to you. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have like already like the, the song lineup like days before the show? Yeah. Um, generally, it's this. It's the same. Um, sometimes it's a little different. We switch it around, but like for the most part, we usually start and end with the same. Thank <laughs> you.